So, number one, the origin of the universe. Have you ever asked yourself where the universe came from? Why everything exists instead of just nothing? Typically, atheists have said that the universe is just eternal and uncaused. But discoveries in modern astronomy and astrophysics have called this assumption into question. The astrophysical evidence indicates that the universe began to exist in a great explosion called the Big Bang about 15 billion years ago. Moreover, the origin it posits is an absolute origin out of nothing. For not only all matter and energy, but physical space and time themselves came into being at the initial cosmological singularity, which marks the boundary of space and time. As Professor Slezak himself has recently acknowledged, the beginning of the universe out of nothing follows as a direct consequence of Einstein's equation. Today, there is no plausible alternative." End quote. Now, this tends to be very awkward for the atheist. For as Anthony Kenny of Oxford University urges, a proponent of the Big Bang Theory, at least if he is an atheist, must believe that the universe came from nothing and by nothing. But surely that doesn't make sense. For such a conclusion is, in the words of philosopher of science Bernhard Kanitscheider, in head-on collision with the most successful ontological commitment in the history of science, namely the metaphysical principle that out of nothing, nothing comes. So why does the universe exist instead of just nothing? Where did it come from? There must have been a cause which brought the universe into being. We can summarize our argument thus far as follows. Premise one, whatever begins to exist has a cause. Two, the universe began to exist. Three, therefore, the universe has a cause. Now, from the very nature of the case as the cause of space and time, this cause must be an uncaused, changeless, timeless, and immaterial being of unimaginable power which created the universe. Moreover, I would argue, it must also be personal. For how else could a timeless cause give rise to a temporal effect like the universe? If the cause were an impersonal set of necessary and sufficient conditions, then the cause could never exist without the effect. If the cause were timelessly present, then its effect would be timelessly present as well. The only way for the cause to be timeless and for the effect to begin to exist in time is for the cause to be a personal agent who freely chooses to create an effect in time without any prior determining conditions. And thus we are brought not merely to a transcendent cause of the universe, but to its personal creator. Isn't it incredible that the Big Bang Theory thus confirms what the Christian theist has always believed, that in the beginning God created the universe? Now I simply put it to you, which do you think is more plausible, that the theist is right or that the universe just popped into being uncaused out of absolutely nothing? I at least have no trouble assessing these alternatives.